A lot of talk about real estate investing. Well, before we go any further, let me run down little credentials for you, okay? I flipped personally over 40 houses in the city of Detroit, okay? Built custom houses, bought, sold, real estate agent, builder, all that, okay? From that, I transitioned into what I'm doing right now, which is a business coach helping you guys build your businesses, online businesses, build your business credit, build your personal credit and get the money. All right. That's what I'm doing right now. But I get a lot of calls on a daily basis from real estate investors. So what is the blueprint? What is the truth? You know your boy B.O.B. I'm going to tell you the truth. What's the truth about business credit for real estate investors? We're going to get into it tonight. Welcome to the channel, Cakeology, the science of success. You know me, B.O.B., -B., nothing but the best of the best. If this is your first time watching a video of mine, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for more money, business, and credit videos, okay? This one specifically is for those real estate investors, okay? Having been a real estate investor in the past and still delving in it, as you see right now, this is going to be one of my Airbnbs. This is one of my offices right now. So still in it, still looking, still on the sideline right now, getting everything together, okay? So you're a real estate investor. You want to know, well, how can you use business credit to conduct real estate transactions. How do you go about doing it? Well, first and foremost, I just want to say real estate investing. OK, when you say you're a real estate investor, that automatically brings up ding, 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 sirens to banks and lenders. OK, because they don't like the real estate investing business. That model is not as easy as you as you might think it is. It's not like, you know, brothers on brothers and everything from HGTV, you know, and, and even your grandma can flip a house. You know, that's that's not that's not the reality of it. OK. All right. The reality of it is that most real estate investors don't know what they're doing. They're watching HGTV. They out here buying stuff that's too high. OK. Didn't uh, incorporate all of the costs necessary, didn't incorporate holding costs, didn't incorporate taxes, didn't set up the business right, didn't have business credit to help them along, and now they going to just try to sell cheap, and here come, you know, Builder Bob, you know what I mean, Investor Bob, you know what I mean, so I'm going to come in, you know, oh, you messed up what you need. You know, that's where I, that's when I come in. OK, but how can real estate investors still use business credit to make these type of moves? Well, number one, let's go. Let's go down the line. Let's go down the line. Number one, make sure you have good personal credit. OK, number one, if you're talking about seven figures, I'm a seven figure type of person. OK, so it, it, I want my things to scale. OK, if it's not if it's not going to make me some millions nowadays, well, you know, it better it better at least make me some hundred thousands or get close to it and build up to that. OK, that's what I'm thinking about. All right. Now, we're all in different stages in our life and in our career. And it's OK, whatever stage you're in, because I was in that. I was in the other brackets, too. I was trying to make a dollar out of uh, uh, 13 cents. I know it's 15, but I had 13. It's all good. It's okay. All right. We're still going to do it. We're going to do it together. We're going to get that cream, baby. You know what I mean? Detroit boys, baby. So build your personal credit. All right. Though all those dreams about getting all this money without having good personal credit. That's what it all is, is just dreams. OK. All right. Not to say it can't be done, but, hey, you know, there's there's easier ways to do it. OK. There's a path of least resistance. 
All right. And one of those paths is that credit fusion theory that I teach and I talk about and trademarked here on this channel. OK, credit fusion is when you bring the good personal credit with the good business credit and you fuse those together and create a, a, a Voltron of credit lines that go out into the world and get funding for you. You got your real estate investor, build that good personal credit. Okay. So you're saying, okay, well, personal credit, that's it. Then why do I need business credit? Well, you need business credit so you can take that personal expenses and put it off to the business side. Okay. Plus, even though a, hey, you might not have good personal credit right now, but you can still get accounts that can help you on the business side alone. All right. In addition, Listen, no one says that you can you you could you should only you can only have one company and that's the real estate investing company. You know, that's what I do. You put it in your articles of incorporation, you put it in your EIN letter. Yeah, this is my company and I invest real estate. Okay? Does that mean that's the only company that you can have? Do you guys understand this? I don't know. This is high level stuff, man. Are they going are they going to understand this? Should I continue? All right. Okay. So what I mean to say about that, the translation is that, Hey, you can have your real estate company where you say this house or this property or this asset is in this company's name. And this is what we do, but there's nothing stopping you from having another company that is a subs is that is, that is completely different, completely different than the real estate company does completely different stuff. Maybe it's something else that supports the real estate industry. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's easier to get credit in that company. Okay. So there's ways of setting this up properly. If this is making sense to you a little bit, make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys like the video. Listen, hit me up on my free 15 minute consultation for real estate investors that want to know the truth and the real blueprint on how to get business credit in your business, conduct your real estate business in a way that, hey, you get approved. That's what people don't tell you. Real estate investing is considered high risk to banks. So what do you do? Do you just quit? No. You have to know how to organize. You have to know how to go about structuring what we're trying to do. All right. And think outside of the box a little bit. You don't have to be like everybody else out here trying to buy a house cheap and flip it. If everybody's doing it, I'm running the other way. You know what I mean? Because it's just too many people competing and they all, you know, they might be new. They might be this. They might be that. So figure out a way maybe that you can support that industry as well and be looking out for your opportunities in what you want to do. OK, you want to buy property. Great. Hold on. Do some research. Build your business credit up. Build your personal credit up. Have those lines available. OK, now you guys know with any type of business credit, you guys are going to have to get trade lines. You have to get trade lines on your business credit reports. I got two amazing trade lines. It's in the link in the description below. They are the best for new companies. No personal credit check. You guys can get products and services, a real account for your business. All right. Check them out in the link in the description below. All right. So let's continue. Now, what do we got? We got number one. We got build your personal credit. Number two, structure your business properly. If you're going to be a real estate investor, you don't have to have everything saying that this is this is what it is. Do you have any other business that you could do? I don't know if that's making any sense. They, they're like, well, we're in real estate investors. We're watching this video because we're real estate. And now this guy is telling us, is there anything else we can do? Hmm. That's some, you know, it, it's high level. But what I'm saying is, is that if the banks are not comfortable 
with real estate investors, if it's considered a more high risk business, let's have another business as well. Maybe a hobby that you turn into a business. Is there anything else that you can do? There's nothing saying that you can't take that credit and still invest it in your real estate investing business. You understand? Any company can do anything. Does that make sense? But maybe you have a company that does something else and they invest in the real estate investing business as well. You know, and then, oh, how about the fact that you guys don't know what to even like call your business? You have to call it real estate investing by floppity flop and a uh, uh, big bird. No, you don't have to have all that in the name. Can we be a little bit more creative as far as what we're naming our businesses? Let's not have a red flag jump out at us immediately. You know, let's take these type of steps as real estate investors that want to build their business credit, that want to build their personal credit and use it to invest in houses. Let's think a little bit outside the box. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Now, okay, what do you need? What do you need when you're investing in real estate? Are you rehabbing a property? Okay, you're going to be going to Home Depot. Like I, I was in Home Depot. I was the first one there. They knew me before they had a picture about a, a seven by 10 up there. You know what I mean? Bob's coming. Yeah, I'm coming. You need to go to you need to go. You need to go to Home Depot. Well, you can get a Home Depot card. You can buy equipment. You can get a Lowe's card. You can get a gas card. You, you're going to be you're going to be putting a lot of gas in other people's trucks and stuff. Your contractors, whatever. Sometimes that's how it goes. Depends on how we rolling it. OK, but you need gas still. All of these things are expenses that can be taken away from one category where you're spending it in cash and spending it in real money that you could be using to invest in real estate. And you're putting it here where this is a net 30 account right here. A net 30 account that is in your business name or on a business credit card or something like that, that does not have to be, you know, maintained on a low utilization or anything. So you're taking that uh, that expense on your personal and putting it on your business. That's the trick. That's the trick. No one has taught you guys this yet. It's crazy. All right, listen. I have a ton more videos on how to build business credit for real estate investors. I got a whole series coming out. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys like this video, okay, if you want to know more in detail, because everyone that calls me, hey, Bob, I want to be a real estate investor. Okay, great. Well, let's set it up properly. All right, let's get the accounts. Let's get, let's get those accounts that are going to support that business. Let's name it properly. I'm talking about from, from jump, from day one, and no one out here is doing it like this, baby. B.O.B., nothing but the best of the best. I don't know what you heard, but now, hey, you got the real deal, baby. You know what I mean? Uh, truth will set you free. All right. B.O.B. Nothing but the best. Make sure you guys subscribe. Like the video. Don't forget to comment. Share the video. OK, share, share, share. All right. My main man, PBT. You know, what? share, share, share. All right. Share the video. I'm going to catch you next one. Peace and love.